Hello there, this is Gavin Mountford here from the Networking Superstars Tribe and the TSA. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to bookmark, how to share, how to syndicate somebody else's content. Because the more we give back to other people, the more we do this for other people, the more they're going to come over to our blogs and do the same for us, which helps us get our message out to a lot more people and to impact a lot more people which is going to drive traffic back to your blog which will help you generate more leads more visibility so this is very powerful now let's say I want to submit some content let's say I've gone to a blog and I'm just going to um, edwardelliot.blogspot.com at the moment um, because I know Edward has got the OnlyWire um, plugin installed on his computer as I have on mine so if you have a look at my blog At the bottom of my posts, I've got the um, bookmark and share widget installed. So let's just go back over to Edwards. Once we're on the page and you see this, then we'll, we'll follow this approach. If you don't see the bookmark and share um, widget here, or if you haven't installed it or somebody else hasn't installed it on their blog, then we're going to use the submitter software that I showed you about before. But we'll do the submitter software in a second. So if you come over, you see this bookmark and share widget on somebody's blog if you come over to mine if you go over to Edwards if you go over to Dave and Dawn's if you go over to a lot of people in our groups we've got this already installed but for people that don't then we'll use the software okay so what you want to do find that either create your account if you don't already have an OnlyWire account which we did before or click on login and log in to your account now it takes a couple of seconds to um, pop up and then we'll type in your username and your password and click on login now sometimes this is a little bit slow to load up but most of the time it's up very quickly now here you'll see you should see tick boxes next to all the ones that you've put your password and username in when you set up your OnlyWire account. If you remember, we had we logged into each of the individual accounts. So you set up an account with AOL Livestream, you set up an account with Ask, with all of these other ones, and you've added your details to OnlyWire. You've you've saved it, and now every time you come over to one of these blogs and bookmark and share, then you will see this is automatically ticked now at the moment this post is going to go over to all of these sites now if I don't want it to go over to Facebook let's untick that one if I didn't want it to go over to friend feed I'd untick that one um, so make sure you untick the ones that you don't want it to go to but you probably do want it to go to all 39 services so once you've done that make sure quite an important thing actually make sure you're on the person's blog post itself at the moment I'm in Edward Elliott's home page so click on the actual post again scroll down so now you can see the actual post here so you don't want to be bookmarking the individual um, root of the site like the, the first page you come to you want to go to the actual blog post itself so again we'll click on bookmark and share okay so now I'm in the actual post itself you see here the title the tension in our lives by Edward Elliott the URL which is actual link to the blog post itself tags we want to put space separated so just double check to see what the posts about uh, personal development growth gratitude and make sure you separate each of the tags by a space now I'll go into more detail about tags in the next in another video um, for now just have a quick look to see what the posts about if it's about network marketing if it's about MLM if it's about tribes if it's about networking superstars if it's about TSA you know, whatever the posts about put the tags here now always put the most relevant first and probably use between uh, four and seven tags but again we will go into more detail in this later then with my notes you can either type your own notes in or just grab probably the first part of text so let's just grab um, now some posts are a bit more um, related to
to what they actually are. So we're going to go back down, paste in notes. Because these notes are going to go into your OnlyWire account, so you probably want them. So you, if you ever want to refer back to a post, you can find them. Okay, so uh, what I would recommend normally is type out your own notes, um, but if you're struggling for time, you can grab some of the text off the page, add it into notes, and then click on the bookmark, um, and that's going to bookmark this post. Um, but ideally, you want the notes to be related to what the post's about. So you can either mark it as private, which I don't recommend. I mean, if it's something that you don't want everybody to see, then mark it as private. But because we want to get our message out to as many people as possible and help others do the same, all we do is click on bookmark. And once you click on bookmark, it goes through and it gets submitted to OnlyWire, which means that OnlyWire will now go out and submit this blog post to multiple places that we've ticked here, which will give a lot more visibility to the person whose blog it is. OK, so once you've done your submissions for the day, let's say you've done two, three, four, five submissions, and you've submitted maybe three, four, five people's blogs um, and their specific content to each of the sites within OnlyWire, OnlyWire will send you a report, or you'll log into OnlyWire to get your report, so you can see which services have been successful and which ones have failed. Then you can total up your count and add it to your syndication spreadsheet. It just shows that it just show, helps you know what's worked and what hasn't, and that you'll need to change it if not. So if you go to OnlyWire.com forward slash history, make sure you're logged into your account. And just scroll down that page and you'll be able to see here the, whether it's been a success or a failure and why it's been a success or a failure. Um, and then add those up, total the amount, like I've already explained in another video. Um, let's say this was there was 20 successes. That would You would go into the spreadsheet, into the Networking Superstars and TSA spreadsheet, and you would add 20 for that counter, for that for that person, for that blog you've just submitted. Now let's say you did two blogs that day and they were both 20, so they've both been submitted to 20 sites, then that would count as 40 syndications. So for the day you would add 40. Now if you did two people five days a week and it got submitted to um, 20 places each time, that's 40 times 5 which is 200 syndications per week. Now there's people that are getting over a thousand syndications and if you think about this there's 39 or nearly 40 different sites here. Um, 40 different sites that you submit to with the click of one button once you've set it all up. Now some of these people in the TSA and in the networking superstars are getting massive syndication counts and they're not just doing their two per day they're doing five people a day or ten people a day they're going out and they're submitting their uh, as more people join the the superstars and TSA they're going into each person each day so maybe doing ten people per day which and, and 39 syndications per person and if you t total that up at the end of the week you know that's thousands a, a lot of um, a lot of numbers and a lot of syndication counters so just make sure you go into this to make sure that your content has been submitted um, if you come here you can actually see the details of the items in the work queue click here so click there and it just shows you um, the ones that are waiting to be submitted and the ones that have recently been submitted um, so just go in have a look around because when you click the uh, bookmark this button sometimes it doesn't come up with a notification so you don't know whether it's been submitted or not but by coming over to history um, onlywire.com forward slash history it will tell you um, whether it's been done so this is Gavin Manford here from the Networking Superstars Tribe and TSA speak to you soon bye bye